Namaste and welcome to Sonali Joshi's Astrology channel. In this video, I am going to explain what it means to have Jupiter in the sign of Taurus in your natal horoscope. And I am making this video for a reason because on 1st of May, Jupiter is going to make a transit into the Taurus sign again. So if you already have this placement in your horoscope in your natal chart, that means it's a Jupiter return for you and you are completing that one cycle of Jupiter and this is going to be one of the great times for you. And if you want to know what it means to have Jupiter in Taurus in each house starting with Lagna to the 12th house, keep watching this video. I will also mention what kind of remedy you can do to get the best results from this Jupiter. Now to those of you who are new to astrology, Jupiter is a karaka of knowledge. It is about wealth that you earn. It is about the wisdom that you have and if you are a woman, Jupiter is also your husband in the natal horoscope. And when Jupiter placed in the Taurus sign and when Jupiter is placed in the sign of Taurus, it means this person, this native has a belief in human development via treasuries of nature. The person also has belief in historical knowledge. The person tries to acquire, collect, gain so many things, maybe natural resources, food, lineage, whatever is good in terms of collections holding in this time frame. Taurus sign is owned by Venus and actually Guru, Jupiter and Venus, Shukra, they are enemies of each other. And the reason being, Jupiter is about the wisdom, more towards spirituality and Venus is about person to person relationships and it is about sensuality. Venus deals with giving joy to all the senses. And Jupiter is about using wisdom in making sure that you don't overdo these things. And hence when Jupiter comes into the sign of Taurus, it is a conflict there. However, Venus sees Jupiter as a neutral companion. So Jupiter gets a chance to collect things and still gets a chance to be careful not to take any wrong means to do that. However, the results will depend upon Guru's bhava and the character of Venus or character of Shukra in your natal horoscope. By nature, Jupiter is expansive, it is inclusive and this behavior develops valuable goods. It collects a lot of knowledge and the person usually has a lot of collections. During their lifetime, they acquire many things and Taurus is a worthy sign. So somebody can have land, somebody can have properties, somebody can have vehicles, somebody can love lot of foods, good food, wine, drinks and all types of pleasures of food. Remember in Taurus sign, moon is exalted and hence it is a combination of moon, Venus and Jupiter. These are three benefic planets and hence this placement is considered as really good in these times where people are working towards material gains. However, Jupiter is more philosophical. Jupiter usually has ideologies and when these ideologies and philosophy blends into the material resource accumulation, a person develops wisdom but the materialistic focus is always there. You are born on this earth to experience this material enjoyments or the enjoyments and from the past life you are bringing the wisdom about human to human relationships. Now I'm going to give you some examples of people who have this placement while explaining this natal placement. If you consider the example of famous author JK Rowling, <clears throat> she has used the creativity to create a popular and profitable series. The creative literary work because she has this combination in the fifth house. Usually these people will have affinity towards precious stones like diamonds. They appreciate beauty, they appreciate abundance of nature and as long as they are appreciating it, they are collecting those things as well. And they also enjoy multiple relationships with financially privileged accumulators. And these people can be jewelers, people who work in bank, those who are in stock trading are a special exclusive class. So you will always notice people who have Jupiter in the second house or people who have Jupiter in the Taurus sign usually are friends with people who are either working towards material gains 
or they are ready to share their gains share their collections whatever they have accumulated jupiter in taurus means expansion of lineage face value attributes of um, eyes face and facial features and also it is about your voice when jupiter is in the first house in your lagna it has acquired the digbala so this personality can have multiple valuable attributes they would have lot of knowledge about history philosophical beliefs they they are usually identified due to their aesthetic taste and their personality is known everywhere they do have faith system which is evolutionary and it can change with a personalized understanding of marketplace systems depending on how much gain they are going to get their ideology their philosophical understanding can change and few examples of jupiter in lagna or first bhav are thomas edison tony blair and martha stewart if you are looking at jupiter in taurus in the second bhav second house then it is about philosophical dharmesha placement in the second house in the sign of vices and many assets these people will have many vices and many assets that means they can have affinity towards natural resources they may have affinity towards multiple relationships they have affinity towards understanding human to human relationships the example of um, jupiter in the second house in the taurus sign is theodore roosevelt he started national parks in america you will usually find poets environmentalists natural conservation related work people you can also find singers you can find people who are public speakers and you will also have people who work on the specialties related to mouth gums and teeth you may find people who are ent specialists with this placement of jupiter in taurus in the second house now let us see if jupiter is in the third house in the sign of taurus then people will have many announcements they can have multiple businesses usually these people will start a business if they will continue as long as it works and then they will declare bankruptcy fold it start another one this placement is very common with people who are news readers or journalists who are churning day to day news people who are active on social media on a daily basis because jupiter has ability to multiply amplify and they have their own voice they have something to share on a daily basis this is a great placement to have if you want to be a sports uh, journalist or sports commentator radio jockey or somebody who is a news reader people who are dealing with a uh, lot of social media and media management also come with this placement of jupiter in the third house ideally jupiter in the third house is known as marana karaka sthan that means jupiter is not supposed to promote the things that are not good for people there should be wisdom there should be some criteria some philosophy and ideology to be applied in case whatever you are promoting should be good for humanity but jupiter loses this power in the third house and it enters into highly analytical highly promotional sales marketing kind of uh, scenarios so people who are very active in sales and marketing can have this placement as well people can be really great with skills of hands even though jupiter is a little slow moving planet people can be good with their skills of hands depending on other placement in the little horoscope you will find lot of photographers with this placement as well but the focus of this jupiter will always be the sensual pleasure beauty of nature quality of foods and the ultimate experiences of five senses so these people through their art their commentary their blogs whatever media post they will always talk about these things it is commitment to good life it is commitment to the company of others who visualize similar grand and expansive tastes and hence this is not a very good placement in the sense these people may lose the track of people who are underprivileged <clears throat> now let us consider the placement of jupiter in the sign of taurus in the fourth house usually it is the house about mental peace it is about your property real estate and multiple settlements so this placement gives you multiple roots multiple homes or multiple settlements depending on what is what is the aspect on this jupiter and what planet is conjunct with this 
a person can hold multiple properties or they have to sell that property buy another one or they are renting that property however usually this is a good placement because house wise jupiter is exalted and they will find whatever they are looking for ultimately they can have good connection with their siblings they can have good connection with their mother and usually this amplifies uh, this nur- nurturing and caring from the family these people can give generously to charity these people can always make sure that they are going to look for creating security creating comfort creating a routine for others now let us look at jupiter's placement in the 5th house in the sign of taurus that means if you have capricorn as your ascendant taurus sign is in your 5th house 5th house is about your intelligence it is about your purva punya it is about uh, the arts craft or the talent that you have and this is a great placement jupiter in the 5th house is a good placement for you it means you are carry bringing in lot of purva punya into this lifetime which is going to give you good food it is going to give you materialistic pleasures it is going to give you all the material related abundance in this lifetime and you are highly creative person you are talented person as i mentioned before jk rolling is the example one of the examples for jupiter in the 5th house if you have jupiter in the taurus sign in the 6th house that means you are a person of sagittarius ascendant for sagittarius ascendant usually 6th house is the house about pending karma it is about donations it is about the debt that you are carrying and in the 6th house jupiter multiplies it <clears throat> usually people can uh, have health issues related to um, their stomach or it is difficult for them sometimes to have discipline about how much to eat and where to stop consumption jupiter has a tendency to multiply in second house and in sixth house usually people will find it difficult to control their appetite maybe they have a big appetite right from the childhood and these are the kids where mother would say well i never had any issues uh, about how to feed this kid because usually you will find these people are happy when it comes to food but depending on the aspects and again conjunctions these situations can change usually this will bring in one thing that a sagittarius native will always like to listen to some guru some mentor or somebody who is giving them ideology telling them some philosophy and they are looking forward to some kind of advice to be listened to on a day to day basis and sometimes i say okay these are the people who should employ an advisor who would talk to them on a daily basis and when i say this there is a reason because sagittarius natives are usually very ambitious they want to learn more and learning is what gives them happiness and hence they should always have somebody who gives them advice who mentors them on a day to day basis depending on other placements this can be religious gurus they can follow uh, their guru on a day to day basis these people love to usually go to the temple they love to pray and they have faith in religion <clears throat> if this jupiter is in the 7th house in the sign of taurus then you will notice these people are ready to form many many alliances so that they can get their material gains it is about making sure that they have many deals they have good bargaining capacity and you will notice that as per the lal kitab 7th house jupiter people should not go to the temple but it's not like that it is about understanding that you need to know about every religion in fact i have come across people who would like to know about multiple religions when they have this placement same way when it is in the taurus sign usually they want to know the knowledge the wisdom about the culture that brings in different food clothing and uh, cultural aspects of sitting together having a big family and having family dinners they want to know what kind of emotions go into eating together various foods and related to different cultures and religions because jupiter has this expansive nature even though it is focused on food and gains and collections it is about philosophy and ideology and hence these people will usually show interest in other persons religion and their background and their choices of food but remember this is a expansive placement and you will always see 
lot of dramatization lot of um, back and forth going talking discussions because it is more about the philosophies the famous people with displacement are uh, opera winfrey you will also know many poets many writers can also have displacement typically who recite their works if you are somebody who is known as a narrator you may have displacement of jupiter in 7th house and you can have lot of fame jupiter in the 8th house in the taurus sign when jupiter is in the 8th house this makes a harsha yoga and this is for the libra lagna you will have jupiter in taurus in the 8th house remember 8th house is about secrets it is about certain endings and another beginnings it is also about identity changes because for the libra lagna the same lagnesh is in taurus taurus and libra have the same lagnesh that is venus so people will go through identity changes because they want to earn more they want to be known they want to have more fame or their health their food choices need this and it may happen that one community understands them one way there can be another community who knows them different way because jupiter is about culture religion human to human relationships in taurus and people can have multiple identities so one group will associate them with their clan another group can associate them with their clan so we'll notice people who have two jobs people who have extremely opposite career and business usually they will have this kind of placement and for a day basis they can be working as coach teacher professor at night time they will be doing some mantra sadhana and they can be into some other kinds of tantra kind of thing or you are sportsman by day and by night you are dealing with some kind of healing eight house is also about healing eight house is also about changing that identity one example that i know is kamala harris and there are different ethnical groups that associate with her if you have jupiter in taurus in the 9th house that means you have kanya lagna virgo ascendant and you will realize in the 9th house you are looking for multiple value philosophies your father usually has different philosophies father or even you or your mentor has heritage endowments related to music fine arts or ornament making jewelry or there is some charity related money that you deal with because it is about evaluating the accumulation of father figures related to finance you will find many people who are ready to uh, deal with you financially they can support you financially this also shows somebody can um, have lot of inclination towards higher studies towards learning various principles it can be related to institutions universities and these are the people who can go on collecting degrees or certifications uh, if you are a woman you will remember you your husband can show similar inclinations depending on the placement this is also a placement where person can be traveling 9th house is about long distance travel and people are seen traveling for their job for earning money for earning uh, the resources the placement where jupiter is in taurus in 9th house in the natal chart is again theodore roosevelt who decided to have national parks and if you know national parks are all over the united states and he made sure that people can travel everywhere collect the experience go through the various local plants changes in earth as well as food there are so many people who will have this placement and they can have multiple publications 9th house is also about publications theories and they will be known in the society for that if somebody has jupiter in taurus in the 10th house then for the leo ascendant this placement comes as multiple governing roles leo is about the personality the image being the ruler being the owner of any organization and leading it so when jupiter is in the 10th bhava this is a very commercial placement your focus always is about earning money gaining collections holding and even though you have human centric faith you are recognized for your wise relationship and you can have multiple roles you are always aiming at earning money usually people who have um who are active in politics who are active uh, in social life as a leader they have this placement 
John F. Kennedy is one example where he has Jupiter in Taurus in the tenth house. Now, if you have Jupiter in if you have Jupiter in Taurus in the eleventh house, you have Cancer ascendant. For Cancer ascendant, it becomes a Dhana Yoga. You can have multiple financial gains. You can have many valuable earnings. You can share profits from many networks. Eleventh house is about social networks. It is about financial networks. It is about gaining. through your contacts and usually this is a very good placement because you will know many loopholes you will know many theories philosophies and you will understand what your network stands for from their human perspective and you will make use of it to earn money this can be a placement for a performer artist who is earning through collective systems you can be somebody who acts as a um role model who is into fashion who is into movies you can be a leader you can be leader of a country one good placement that i remember for this is indira gandhi in her natal horoscope jupiter is placed in the 11th house somebody can be political publicist with this because from 11th house jupiter is aspecting the 5th house of creativity you will always remember you are known for the networks that you bring in you are known for the profits that you can bring in into this system and hence this is a good placement if you have jupiter in taurus in the 11th house it is ultimately the house of desires so the person can be very ambitious now jupiter in the 12th house in taurus sign if you have <clears throat> gemini as your ascendant then jupiter in taurus is your 12th house it is about bargaining balancing the 7th floor into the 12th house it shows you have multiple invisible leaderships you can be advising into many environments however you don't do it publicly you do it behind the walls in your own privacy and you are very famous in doing so but you prefer that private space this is a great position for somebody who wants to work as a, a doctor a physician or a, somebody who is a therapist because you don't want to be publicly talking about things you prefer that privacy that environment for getting the best results you can be somebody who is working in non profits charity you can be working with exports imports of foods and these are the invisible environments so as to say this is about the distinct land this is about connection with other people with value based principled negotiations because jupiter is about negotiations here jupiter is about making sure that you are getting the best value for what you are providing and there are many people who have jupiter in the 12th house and they are earning money they should always remember to donate food on a routinely basis for this placement of jupiter in taurus the biggest remedy is donate on full moon and new moon donate foods represented by jupiter foods that are yellow in color or give free workshops if you are a teacher coach give free workshops on any thursday to people who don't have money or cannot afford your services the intrinsic placement of jupiter in taurus is going to give you materialistic gains the key is to not to take any illegal means to get that because jupiter is about natural expansion it is about multiplication but when you choose the wrong ways or you don't take the moral side jupiter is about morals and when you stay away stay basically fall off from the moral compass then the issue start so make sure whatever you are earning whatever you are doing keep your moral compass active and this placement will always deliver good results for you and as i mentioned the biggest remedy is donation of food you can help somebody with actual uh, money you can always pay for somebody's education and all these remedies will deliver great results hope this natal placement of jupiter in taurus helps you i'm going to give couple links where you can look at the how to overcome the negativity of certain nakshatras in the taurus sign and the nakshatras are kritika nakshatra which is nakshatra of sun rohini nakshatra which is a nakshatra of moon and mrugashraya nakshatra which is a nakshatra of mars fortunately jupiter works very well with all these three planets sun moon and mars so jupiter doesn't have much resistance from the nakshatra lordship Jupiter is able to deliver its results through this. If you believe in any deity, if your um, family has a deity worshiping, do it. Chant those mantras. Also, sing all those 
stotras that your family has been doing visiting the kula devata or kula devi is a great remedy for this and always work towards building connections between human beings because jupiter is exalted in the fourth house or the sign of cancer you are supposed to do good things towards human beings this is the basis of it and jupiter is going to deliver all good results for you if you are in a business remember if you are into food related business restaurant hotel management if you also have business related to sports drinks or drinks or even tea and coffee this business are going to see rise when jupiter transits into taurus again from 1st of may if you are into image building like you are a motivator inspirational speaker public speaker these are great times for you make the most of jupiter's transit into taurus and do your best if you are somebody who is looking for starting their family this is a good time to do that jupiter's transit into taurus will expand your lineage and if you are somebody into creative field you will create the world create the work you will create some craft you will create some product which will be remembered for long please take a look at the links given below in this video and watch those videos so that you can remove the negativity and get the best results from jupiter namaste thank you shubham as